Hello, I'm Mary Kay Darnell. I'm at 17477 Yankee Road. And I feel, after all of the things that I have been reading, that there probably really isn't anything wrong with putting up an MET tower. Not that the general public knows what that is. But I feel it's like you're opening the door to letting the wind turbines in, and you're doing it behind the general public's back because most people don't know what a MET tower is, and they don't know that you want to put in the large turbines. But I read in the Montcalm County uh, paper that by two, 2024, there will be 75 wind turbines in Montcalm County. So it's kind of like there's more going on here than I know. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yay! Woo! Thank you, Mary Kay. Julie Houghton. I live on uh, Edgar Road, south of town here. Um, I agree with the comments made that the Met Towers are part and parcel of this whole plan for the apex wind turbines. Um, if we're not going to get them, then we don't need Met Towers. Uh, the public has, I believe, by signs and the presence here, have shown this township board that we do not want the wind turbines in this neighborhood. It is not conducive to the, the atmosphere and the, uh, the, the neighborhood. This is a farming community. This is a small town. We, we're not some big wide open place that wants these here. Uh, they're gonna drive down our property values. I know you guys disagree with that, but you know, read about it. That's, that's what's gonna happen. Um, and once these are in place, we're stuck with them till we're dead. Everybody in this place would probably be dead before those things will be gone. So you're looking at your children, your grandchildren, your great-grandchildren having to live with this stuff around here. Is this what we really want in our community? No. I don't think anybody in this county of Montcalm wants this here, let alone the small township of Winfield. And the other thing is, is I want to know where these Met Towers are going to be. Where are they? Where are they, where are they going to be? What's the parcels? Uh, you, we got that information, or you can have it here. Uh, oh, cool. We don't have a real good map of the township. Why not? Yeah. I mean, we're putting towers up. We need to know where they're going to be. Yeah, we should. Yeah, we should. Yep, I'll agree there. <laughs> where are they? Uh, yeah, Steve's got the parcel numbers. And if you can give us a little bit of address, of where it's from. I don't have the addresses, What's but the I, have, I have. Just let me let me get the parcel number first, okay? The one is on uh, Raiders Platte property. Shocker. The parcel number for that one is zero two zero dash zero one five dash zero one one dash zero zero what's the road and that one is 46 and ample which way north or south right here it's right over here 9400 ample road it's on the north side of 46 that way and the east side of M. Okay. Where's the other one? The other one? The person number is... That's okay, pretty let me, get, let me get the address first. 17810 Lake Montcalm Road. And the parcel number... Five nine dash zero two zero dash zero three one dash zero one zero dash zero one. Okay, has it got a crossroad besides Mont Lake Montcalm Road? So you guys don't even really know where these are going. Uh, yeah, Julie. I well, my it's point, over there in the southwest 
corner. Yep. Southwest corner? Almost around the corner. Okay, and the other one's just north the of here. The other one is right around the corner on Amber Road. Here. Okay. I know the parcel numbers don't mean anything. Right, it means mean nothing to anybody. You just want to know where. But my point is, is you guys don't have to grant this. What, what's this to us? What's this to this community as far as he's nothing to nobody around here. He wants a variance. Why? Why are we giving him a, a variance? Is, and the reason I'm asking is if you're giving him a variance is because you're inviting this stuff in the door because you're planning yeah. on making way for this to happen here and nobody wants it. That's my point, well, and I think okay, I okay, Julie. We're gonna have to uh, cut me off. I know, but I'm telling you what, I'm re I am voicing the opinion for probably 95 percent of those people standing out in that parking lot that you won't let in the door. Thank you. Hey, don't say I didn't let him in the door. Well, my point is that can't come in here. We could have this someplace else. We could have it at the school. They'd let us do it. You know that. Bet on it. Okay, then, then all of y'all go outside and stand. There, have it outside in the parking lot. We could all stand out there. Thank you, Julie. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Steve Cole. I'm a trustee as well as sitting on this board. Louder. Since I was told about this, I've been going out and talking to the people in the landowners in, in the township. I have not hit Indian Lakes because I already know where Indian Lakes stands. But I have been going just about every day to at least two, three, four, five houses and asking them where they stand. Because I am an elected official, I feel that my vote should be, when it, when it comes to that, should, it comes from us. should be what the people around sex, you know, they're, they're, uh, and of what I personally have talked to, and I've talked to more people than, than I can count. And it's been 50, 50. Oh, right. I, I'm serious. Right. I have, I have talked to two that are like me that are on the fence. Don't really know. How, if, if they were the ones voting, they don't know how to vote. Just like I'm the one that'll be voting uh, Steve, at, at this point. Steve, time, this is really your spoken comment. Good, but this is the Zoning Board of Appeals here and getting away from it. Okay. All right. You want to argue later? Watch time on. Uh, anybody else for public comment? You want to Ken Eck. I have a question for you too, if I can ask you. I'm sorry? Ken Eck, E-K. I've been here before. Um, I have a question for you too. Is this, or the MAT, or the towers, a precursor? Do you need them in order to do your turbines? Yes or no? Just a yes or no. If you didn't have the towers, could you do the turbines? Or would you put the money into them? Uh, address the board here. We're not addressing Could you please ask them if this is a precursor and if they don't have these, they don't have the towers? Could you, one of you please ask, Zach, I can't talk to them. So if one of you, could you please ask them? And secondly, if it is, which I know it is, then it is a conflict of interest and nobody on this board or the planning township board should be voting, should have anything to do with any of these, um, especially if they're landowners. So could you please ask them if this is a precursor, if this is necessary? in order to do the wind turbines. I'm talking to you guys, you asked me to, so could you please ask him that? Uh, yeah, could you answer his uh, question a little bit about the necessity or non-necessity of what you're asking for? You guys want to come to the microphone, they can hear outside. It's really a yes or no. It's a yes or no, and there's about 18 other precursors, <laughs> um, including bird and bat studies, which we'll be conducting, which we're already currently doing, including leasing land and including measuring wind data so that we have an idea whether or not, if and or where, uh, turbines could potentially go. So we have several met towers up in portions of this county, um, and we have a legal right to work with landowners in Winfield Township 
to consider setting up additional MET towers here to help us better understand whether or not it even makes sense, Mr. Eck, to put turbines in Winfield Township. Um, so what you're so. saying it is, so what you're saying it is, it is necessary to decide whether to put turbines in this area. Yes or no? It's necessary to measure.